Yo, what's good, y'all? So, Trilla, today I'm actually borrowing somebody's Wi Fi US Galaxy Tab S5e here. As you can see here, this ain't mine because I wouldn't put that there. But when you watch 2.1 just dropped for this Tab S5e not even that long ago, so I want to go and show y'all everything that's new on here. And by the way, this is going to be pretty familiar to the Tab S4 video because, well, it's a lot of the same, really. So, let me go and show y'all that. Alright, so yeah, like I was saying, in the US at least, you can only really find this update right now at the time of recording this video on Wi-Fi and Verizon. So, I got my unlocked one right here, and they don't got the One UI 2.1 update yet. It's only the regular One UI update. So, I brought my friend's Tab S5v US variant Wi-Fi 4 gigs of RAM version, and we'll go and see what's new on here. Now, before you say anything, I don't know when the update's gonna drop for your Tab S5v. I mean, I don't really work for Samsung or anything, so I don't really know these things. But we're gonna do a little bit of a comparison here with the One UI 2.1 update and the regular One UI update with the same specs. Alright, so first thing that's still not new out here is no multi-window tray like on the last update. So let me go and show you my Tab S6 here. So as you can see here, we do have the multi-window tray. So if you want to pull up the internet and then I want to go and pull up Spotify, I could do that. But with the Tab S 5e, I can't do that. And I'm assuming because the specs ain't really that good. But still, I feel like they should put something in here at least. I mean, it will be really nice in my opinion. But yeah, if I go over here to the settings, I go over here to advanced features, you will see here that there is no multi-window tray. And then when I go over here to my tab s6 i'll go to the settings go to advanced features and then you will see here that we do got the multi-window trace so yeah that's kind of sus i don't really like that next up is that we still don't got any new wallpapers on here so is it really surprising no but is it disappointing yeah a little bit but yeah no new wallpapers on here as expected and we still don't got any new ringtones and notification sounds. So if I go over here, we still got the regular over the horizon ringtone and then the same space line and just everything is exactly the same. All right, so now let's go and talk about some of the new things that we did get on here. So one of them is going to be animations. So as you can see here, we do have all new animations here with the new One UI 2 update. So looking pretty nice in my opinion. Going to the recent apps, as you can see here, that's all new and everything. So that looks nice. And really just overall, we do have a new recent app screen. So does look pretty nice and then just going over here to one ui as you can see here we have the old animations. so i don't know i like the new one ui 2 animations and then just going into the recent apps as you can see here yeah like the animations they're a lot less like playful i guess so they also updated that too i'm really feeling that Next up is that the notification center now shows up based on where you swipe on the screen. So on the regular One UI update, as you can see here, it only shows up in one area. Now I did hear some people say that they do like this better, but in my opinion, I like this one better. It's just, I don't know, it's nicer. Now it does only show up when you got it in one area on portrait mode, but I mean, that's pretty much it. Next up is better dark mode support along with this new menu here. So if I go over here to dark mode and then let's go over here to, let's see, I don't know, let's go over to Google. As you can see here, now it's in dark mode. So let me go and show you one UI. That is not a thing right now. So I'm going to go and put this in dark mode and everything real quick. Turned on the dark mode. And now if we go to Google, as you will see here, that it's still the regular light version. So with the regular one UI 2.1 update, it's in more apps. Next is new stock Android gestures. And what I mean by that is like the iOS like gestures that Google implemented and then Samsung cut on to later. So I actually still prefer the old way of doing the animations as you can see here with the swipe from the bottom. But now, as you can see here, we do have the new animations. So I mean, if you're feeling that, I guess, I mean, go crazy if you want to. So I got my swipe up here to go home. I got my hold up to go to the recent apps. And then I got on the sides here to go back. So if you want to go and turn that on, go to the display, go over here to uh, navigation bar, and then you'll see it right here. So if you got the old navigation on with the gestures, you're going to have to go to more options and then you'll see it right here. But yeah, new gestures, if you like that, then turn it on. And it still don't work with third party launchers, by the way. Next up is that we got access now to the new daily board update. So basically with this daily board update, it's pretty big. So let me go over here to tap on the start that. We're going to go and agree to their conditions or whatever real quick. Week. And as you can see here, we have access to the new daily board update, which features now smart things too. If I swipe all the way over here, so that's pretty nice. If you want to go and see everything that's new in the daily board update, I'll go and throw a link in the description or the card above. You can go and click on. I didn't cover this whole smart thing section here because it just came out for this daily board update, but 
but yeah so we got new access to this now with the new faces and everything so that's pretty dope and it's only an android 10 exclusive so you can't get it on android 9 or one ui regular next up is that i noticed we got a new option here for the face unlock and that's actually called alternative look so as you'll see here i can go ahead and enhance my face recognition by adding an alternative appearance so with the regular one ui update that's not even there so that's pretty nice next up is that there's more ways to turn on your galaxy tab now so the default way of turning off your galaxy tab is 5v now is to hold on to the power button and the volume down button at the same time otherwise it's gonna pull up bixby for you so if you don't want it to do that you go over here into the menu here you tap on side key settings and then you can go ahead and customize it there if you want to so if i go and switch that to power off menu as you'll see here when i press a hold on to the side key then it'll bring me up to this whole menu here that's supposed to do but i'll go and leave that on bixby for now next up is that the smart things panel gets replaced with the media and the devices tabs here so i already talked about this i do not like this like with a passion so as you'll see here with the red regular one UI update that's how I like it I like it better this way I don't like it with the whole media and devices thing because this way it's just more convenient so if I want to go and turn on my lights real quick I can do that or go over here to I don't know my water leak sensor or my hallway light switch or whatever I want to do it's not tapping for some reason but there we go but yeah you get the point with my whole smart home thing so now I have to go all the way over here into devices into a separate screen and then manage it from here so I don't really like that Next up is that the Tab is 5e kind of got an always on display now. So if you want to go ahead and plug this in, you will see here that we actually got this always on display type feature here where we always see the battery percentage here at the bottom. Now I heard some people say that this don't actually move around and this could cause burning. I'm not like 100% sure. I would assume that they would let it move around like that would be smart, right? But I'm not really sure and you can't turn this off either. So yeah, that's what you get here with One UI 2.1. As you will see here, when I plug it into the regular One UI update, it will not show anything. It'll just turn on the screen, and then when I go and turn it back off, it's just blank like that. Now let's go and talk about Samsung Dex. So let's go and open the internet, and as you'll see here, we actually got new animations. So if I go and minimize that, bring it back up, yeah, so pretty nice. I like that a lot better. With the regular Samsung Dex mode, as you'll see here in a minute, we don't really got all those cool animations and everything as you'll see here. It just like fades a lot and stuff like that. So this is a lot nicer. It's just a lot more polished. So yeah, that's nice and all. But now let me go and show you one more new thing here, which I love. So if I want to go ahead and bring this down over here, I can actually go ahead and snap the window on the other side of the screen. So as you'll see here, just like on Windows, that's really dope. So you can do that with One UI as I'll go and show you right now. So if I want to go ahead and minimize that real quick, I don't even know if I could do that. But if I want to go and snap a window here on the side, like that is not even a thing. Like I can go ahead and do it with the keyboard here. I'll, I'll go and show you that right now, actually. So before how this worked was you had to hold on to the search button and then just press on one of the arrows, which as you can see here, then it works. But you couldn't just like drag it with a mouse or your finger or whatever. But now you can with One UI 2.1. So that's pretty dope. And by the way, you can still do this with One UI 2.1. And lastly is that the update itself just really like made this Tab S5 V way more smoother and like faster. So my main problem with the 4 gigs of RAM version of the Tab S5 V is that I noticed a lot that it had a lot of lag and it, like it took forever to do like simple things like unlocking it with my fingerprint. But now with One UI 2.1, it like smoothens that out and makes that a lot quicker now. So really feeling that. And then just going into the apps like the Play Store and the Galaxy Store and everything, it's just like feels way more fluid now. Now it's not going to be buttery smooth as you'll see here like there's still a little bit of choppiness when i'm doing this animation here versus like the tab s6 so let me go and do that real quick as you'll see here way more smooth but definitely makes the experience a lot more better on the tab s5e and yeah. let me go and show you one example so i'll go and unlock this with my fingerprint with the screen off like i always do and it pulls up pretty quick right now this is what one you was so this actually takes well that was a lot quicker than i thought but it takes like a while for whatever reason to just go ahead and unlock so if one ui 2.1 that also squashes that problem and like just overall you, like if you if you had a problem with speed with your tab is 5v then you got to get one ui 2.1 now as far as the battery life i'm not really sure what the battery life is looking like because i just borrowed this tab is 5v here to just go ahead and play with it but maybe if the update comes out for my tab is 5v i'll go ahead and pin a comment down below and let y'all know how it is and i'll go and let y'all know if there's an improvement but that's gonna be pretty much it for me y'all hopefully y'all enjoyed this i know like i'm pretty late now but 
But I mean, like, better late than never, right? So, I mean, I'm just glad I can get my video out on this finally. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Centic on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. But Instagram and Twitter is the most active. Also, go and subscribe to my lifestyle channel, Lacho James, etc. Let's go and see the subscribers we're on right now real quick. We're on 950, so we're getting close to 1,000. So, go and sub it up. I would appreciate it. But let me go and get out of here. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Then, duh. Peace out.